Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the range. Now the range tells us how spread out the data is between the highest value and lowest value. So how far apart those values are. All we need to do is find the difference between the highest value and lowest value. So the highest minus the lowest. Let's jump into our examples, starting with number one, where we have a student's algebra test scores. Let's say each test is out of 100 points. So these are the points earned. The first thing that we need to do is put the data in order from least to greatest, if it's not already done so. This data is not in order, so we need to put it in order from least to greatest first. The lowest score is 72, so that comes first. Then we have 81, then 86, then 88, then 91, and then lastly, 94. Now that this data is in order from least to greatest, we need to find the range. So we need to find the highest value and lowest value. So the highest score and lowest score. The highest value is 94. The lowest value is 72. So to find the range, we need to take the highest value, 94, and subtract the lowest value, 72. 94 minus 72, gives us a range of 22. And this is points, so we can label it. The range of these test scores is 22 points. So that's the spread, the range of the data. The data goes from the lowest score of 72 points to the highest score of 94 points. So again, the range is 22 points. Now when it comes to range, the higher the range, the greater the spread, so the data is more spread out. The lower the range, the data will be less spread out. For example, let's say that we have another student where the highest score is 98 and the lowest score is 88. So for that student's range, we need to do 98 minus 88. 98 minus 88 gives us a range of 10 points. Now that's a lower range than the student above. That gives us an idea about the spread of that data. That data, the test scores, will be less spread out than the student above. And think about it, the above student, we go from 72 points to 94 points. That's more spread out than the student below that only goes from 88 points to 98 points. Let's move on to number two, where we have the ages of employees. So let's say that we have the ages of the employees at a small business. Let's find the range. Now these ages are already in order from least to greatest. So let's find the highest value and lowest value. The highest value is 55. The lowest value is 24. So the oldest person is 55 years old and the youngest person is 24 years old. Let's find the range. So we need to do 55 minus 24. 55 minus 24 gives us a range of 31, and this is years. The range of the ages is 31 years. So there you have it. There's how to find the range. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.